all right folks so thanks so much for joining the channel today uh, let's take a look in to see how we can do indexing using r uh, indexing is a very important function uh, especially when i wanted to uh, make selection of rows and specific selection of columns uh, indexing will be very handy for you so now let's go ahead and get it started right now uh, so for this purpose i'm just gonna use uh, the data sets library right so please go ahead and install this library and point to that package uh, you can just go ahead and install it from here and then select this library uh, so I'm just gonna use a uh, uh, package called there is a data sets called air quality and I'm just gonna use that so let's first uh, put put it in a variable input data set let's run that and we can just access that through the matrix here so we have ozone solar wind temperature month and day so this is the we have like around six columns and then we have 153 observations right so now let's profile the data let's just run the summary command and profile the data just to understand the data before we step in uh input yep input data set perfect so now if you see in the bottom it's going to show me in the console uh, it's going to show me the data profiling so for ozone the minimum is 1 the maximum is 168 the mean is 42.3 and there's first quadril third quadril for all these it's showing for all these different columns uh, the one that you can notice is it has the ozone has a lot of not applicables here it's like 37 not applicables solar has seven not applicables here so uh, there is a reason why i'm showing you guys the not applicables which i'm gonna uh, revisit uh, in a few minutes so first things first, I'm going to show you guys what is the syntax of the indexing. So uh, I'll just say input ds. Uh, so the syntax is the rows, comma, columns, right? So uh, this input.ds is basically like a matrix operator kind of uh, function. So it is just looking for uh, what are the given rows, what are the rows that you want, and what are the columns that you want to select, right? So in the rows, I'll just say like uh, I want one first row, second row, third row, and give me all the columns, or I just give me like first row, second row, and then give me the first two columns or first three columns. I can just make any selection that I want here. For example, so I can just say input data set, right? So give me the first row for all the columns, right? So if I just leave it as is, if I don't specify anything here, it means all the columns. So you see here, it's just giving me the first row for all the columns. So if you just say like first row and first column, just if you just want the 41st, 41, I'll just say first row, first column, it's just gonna give me the 41, right? So it's basically the row and the column, right? So it's basically after the comma separator, it is looking for a column and before the comma separator is looking for a row. That's that's a full, uh, that's a basic concept here. So second thing that I wanted to show you guys is uh, how you can select it with a vector so in this one i can only select like one row at a time right I, if you wanted to select like more than one row how do i do that right so for that we have a you can need to use a vector so it's like if i wanted to select like first three columns i'll just say oops one two three and then for all the show me all the columns only the first three rows right so just open this it's gonna be the first three rows and for all the columns right uh let's say if you want to do a bulk selection if you wanted to select like first 25 columns i, I don't want to be like typing one two three four five and all the way until 25 right it's going to take forever so let's what do i do is basically let's say one is two 25 right then give me for all the columns so it's just going to give me the first uh, first 25 rows because it's going to start from the index number one all the way until 25 right so next thing that's uh, so that's basically bulk selection uh, let's say if you wanted to select uh, if you wanted to make a mix of bulk selection as well as individual selection so it's again another uh, thing that you can do here so just use a vector right so I wanted to give me the first 25 uh, rows as well as also give me the 35th row and the 45th row right if I do that, so it's giving, it's gonna give me all the first 25th rows to 25 rows plus 35th row as well as 45th row alone, individual selection and bulk selection com combined together, right? 
and then give it to me for all the columns so if you take a look here so all the 25 rows right so I just go here go back so for one and all the way until 25 and 35 and 45 right um, the next thing that we can see here is how we can do the elimination so let's do that so input data set right if I, just, if I just don't want my first record in my data set right if I for some reason I'm so angry with the first record just say minus one which means eliminate one and give me all the columns but you know instead of just scrolling around this one since we have like 153 observations let me just put it in a variable called a right so now a is gonna show up as a matrix so if you open a it's gonna have everything except the first row because you have asked it to eliminate it here right so I can just say like uh, I can even say like eliminate the first row but you only give me the columns you know one uh, the first three columns basically right so now a becomes let's see only the first three columns excluding the first row right so yeah so that's basically you can so all that it matters is again guys so there is a comma and comma separator here before that comma what you need to specify is whatever row you wanted to select and after that comma what you wanted to select is whatever column that you wanted to see right that's it so next thing that i wanted to show here is uh, using an amazing function called which right so in this function uh, in this data set that we saw it this ozone has a lot of not applicables right so you see here the old ozone had like a lot of not applicables if you run this command here it has 37 not applicable right it's, uh, let's say that i wanted to select a data set the same data set but excluding this not applicables in the ozone how do i do that so it's uh, let's just say that uh, n a exclude right e x c l again i'll call my data and call my data set uh, right and then open the uh, matrix box and inside the matrix box i'll just want to say that using a which command which is an amazing function uh, it is going to run a logical operation in, in within this function it's going to return an index number right so for a, put a data set matrix it is going to require an index number right like just like what we have here it's going to look for an index number here right uh, which is that is exactly what this uh, which function is going to give you right but inside this which function i need to identify what are my not applicables first right so there is a function called is dot na right is dot na so within this is dot na i need to now pass my input data set right so so go to my input data set and go to the ozone uh, column right if i hit dollar sign it's going to go to the column Go to the ozone column and find all the not applicables and return it as true or false true it is not applicable if it is false it is uh, it is it is fine right so so if i just run this if I just run this just the is dot na separately i can show you what it is going to deliver it's going to give me like bunch of true and false like this right true false true false for all the way until 153 right right but uh, if you run if you run the which function along with the isna now let's see what it's going to give us right let's just run that you see here it is just giving me whatever is not applicable in my whole data data set right so these are the not applicable values of 5 10 25 see so here 5 10 25 26 27 let's just take a validate here so for a fifth one is not applicable and then as it shows the tenth one let's take a look at the tenth one is not applicable right and then like 25th one again will be not applicable right i just want to show you guys 25 26 right it's going to identify all these not applicables right so uh now what i have did is part of the problem uh i need to select all the columns again right so this is the row selection all the way until here is a row selection and this piece is a column selection i'm just selecting all the columns only for the ones that has not applicable now our ask was basically to exclude all the not applicables from the data set 
from the ozone column right so what do i what do i should do i should just use the previous concept we did we just discussed right you guys assign here and that's it so now this function naxl it's gonna have the ozone layer ozone uh, column without any not applicables see here it's gonna have no not applicables i can just run a quickly run a summary command on that summary uh in a in a excel e x yep 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 that's the one yep. so you see here now ozone should be clean with it's it's not gonna have any not applicables right so let's say i wanted to do uh give me the all the records in which ozone as well as solar uh, uh both are not not applicable right so I, I just wanted to select all the records in which both of these are clean so it's so again uh, in, interesting thing so it's super easy again so let's just copy paste the same code actually it's much uh, convenient so excel exclude two columns so what I need to do here is with again within the which function I need to just give it just the number of indexes that's it but however in the within that the logical operation I'm gonna do an and operator right so within the is and I'll just condition and then just say another just copy paste the same is and is and a right I'm just gonna say give me the not applicables also not just for ozone but also for what is my second column solar dot r right so solar dot r right so now what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna do a and operation only when ozone column as well as uh, uh, my solar column is uh, not applicable only those columns will be only those rows will be written actually here let's just go ahead and see how it looks like so you see here 151 observations so this is basically uh, uh, called as a pairwise deletion. So you're just looking into both the uh, two columns as a pair to understand uh, if, if both of these are missing values or not, right? So you see here in both of these combined, they wouldn't have not applicable. So in this uh, sixth record, solar has not applicable, but ozone did not have a not applicable. So that is selected. So, um, so there is uh, likewise, there is a bunch of these guys. So if you see again here in the 10th record is ozone has not applicable but solar doesn't but in the 11th solar has and ozone doesn't right so it has 151 observations the total observations we had was 153 so two of those observations uh, looks like both were not applicable right so that's uh, what it is so if you wanted to see those records i'll just take that elimination operator off and then i can just take a look in to see only those two uh, ones I'll just open that see only these fifth and 27th values have not applicables in both right so that's what we have so I'll put the elimination back so the next thing that I wanted to show you is using the subset command so subset is another interesting command uh, it's gonna help you to choose the records based on a column value right so it's basically like a filter so let me show you so I have month here. So the how does month look like? So let's do a quick uh, data profiling. Let, let me just do the summary of my data set. So the minimum of month is five and the maximum is nine. So it starts at five and all the way until nine, right? So if my ask is basically, hey, uh, give me all the columns wherever the month is, uh, you know, less than uh, six right it's only gonna it should only give me for five right so let's take a look to see how we can do that the subset command the first argument that you will be passing is your input input data right input underscore ds the second argument that you'll be passing is super straightforward your column name basically what is my column name it's month right month is my column name. you see here month is my column name i'll just go there and then say month is less than sorry Oops, month is less than six right 
so now uh, let's again store it in a variable let's just call it as you know d it's randomly a d uh, so now if i open d it's going to show me only the call only the rows which are, which are has a month less, like less than six so less than six the only value that i had was five right that's why it shows here so let's say if I had a less than seven it's going to show me the ones that's like less than seven i think we have five and six oops yeah five and six so yeah so five and six we have so yeah go go ahead and play around with these two uh, uh, commands and uh, let me know if you have any questions um, yeah so that's what i wanted to show you guys today uh, if you like this video please uh, subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much